Tuesday guys and welcome to my kitchen. This wasn't a video that I planned on doing but it's a special request video and a couple of you reached out to me and asked me if I would do it. So of course I am because I love you guys. So today I am going to get these green onions that I got at, well some people call them scallions, I like to call them scallions, but they're green onions that I got at Aldi's for 59 cents a bag. So I picked up six bags because if you look at them, they're beautiful. And I'm going to turn them into these, which are my dehydrated onions, which I use all the time. I'm always throwing these into everything. Um, from soups to stews to gravy to mashed potatoes. I mean, I kind of throw them in everything. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this. It's so easy though, guys. And I know a couple of you have said that you have recently got a dehydrator and you're new to dehydrating, but you haven't done green onions yet. So I'm going to show you how I do them. But when I show you, you guys are going to go out and go buy a bunch of green onions. Um, mine, like I said, 59 cents at Aldi's and I could not pass them up. So, and as you see, <laughs> I'm already like halfway down. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in my dehydrator today. And, um, all right, let's, let's go do it. What I'm so. going to do right off the bat is I'm just going to go ahead and get them out of their bags and I'm going to give them a nice, good, clean wash. I just throw them in, um, in my uh, colander give them a nice good wash under cool clear water in my sink and then i'm going to um kind of pat them dry with um let's see if I can do this so that you can see a little bit better and then i'm going to i used some last night in baked potatoes for baked potatoes so actually i have probably like five and a half bags here but for a couple of dollars, man, this adds so much to my, you know, to my pantry because I use them so often. So I'm going to pat them dry with some paper towel before I put them in my dehydrator because you're, you don't want to put them in your dehydrator wet because it's just going to make your dehydrator work longer. So, um, but I put these in now. It's, it's the afternoon, um, here. It's about noon time. So, um... I'm just probably gonna let these go until tomorrow morning and they should be done by then. All right, so I'm gonna take these over to my kitchen uh, sink, give them a nice wash and then um, I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so I don't usually buy paper towel but um, I always like to have some on hand for jobs just like this. So I've got some paper towel. I wanna make sure that as I grab a couple and sorry you're gonna hear the littles <laughs> it's just me home alone with my littles and they're they're playing um they play this ball game where they throw uh, a ball across the living room into a laundry basket <laughs> they love it so hey whatever keeps them entertained until I can get to them so here we have it dry them off as much as I can and then I just take off the little ends. You could save these if you collect them uh, for stew or anything, like, or stew for uh, broth or anything like that. And then I just take a really sharp knife. And then I'm just going to cut them up. And I guess this is a really good um, dehydrating 101 kind of video for anyone who might be new. Um, by the way, I just want to thank you guys in the comment section because I'm really excited and happy that so many people are commenting to me now because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the family on my channel is just growing so much and I really love the interaction. So what I want to know is if you guys can comment down below, let me know how many of you dehydrate and how many of you, um want to dehydrate and haven't yet or are on the fence and really the only parts that I throw away are see if I can get this to focus are the little like you know the little I don't know kind of the sad looking ends that's all I throw away I keep everything else so let me aim you down here so you can get a better look and there we are so there are my green onions so literally what I do as I'm working is I will get 
um, over here. Let's let's get you on over here. I have my dehydrator. And I'm going to pull out my, these are my non-stick sheets. These are my little um, fruit trays. I keep anything that's drippy drippy on it. But for, um, for green onions, I don't find that they're a problem. I just put them right on my mesh. Uh, by the way, I have an Excalibur. Um, I will leave the link to my dehydrator down below. I got it off of Amazon. Uh, but I just put my green onions right on the mesh. So um, let's bring you back to the cutting board. Okay, so my paper towel here. So I just go ahead and I put my mesh and I lay it down and then just go ahead and now I've learned one thing about dehydrating. I either dehydrate like products um, together, like if I was doing herbs, I would do all my herbs, or I just do one item at a time because <laughs> I learned the hard way that if you do two different kinds of items at once, they can take on each other's flavor and it won't dehydrate properly. They'll, they dehydrate unevenly. So now like if I'm working on green onions, I'm only going to put green onions in my, in my dehydrator. So I've got room for some more. I just try to make sure that nothing's like in a big clump that's all kind of single layer as much as I can make it. And then I'll just move that back here. And I'll grab a few more. And I usually do, you know, about five at one time. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six here. Five at a time is good without being overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? I'll just make sure that all the moisture is out of them as much as possible. Then... <laughs> listening to them screaming and playing it is never quiet in my house all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and give them a nice chop and if you see any bad parts of course take them out I tried to do that when I was washing them and giving them a nice bath. And then I usually just take a little bit of sad looking ends <laughs> that are usually mushed and that's what I get rid of. And then I will back my tray here and load it up and guys this really is the hardest part of dehydrating green onions this is it so once I get all of this done I will have my dehydrator loaded and it will smell wonderful. I love dehydrating scallions. I don't find that they're too strong at all. In fact, it kind of makes my house smell like I'm making chicken soup or something. <laughs> so, uh, but today is a gorgeous day outside and um, I have all the windows in the house open and I've got a nice breeze coming in. I think it's gonna be, I think it's like 65 out today. So it's beautiful. So um, I won't really have any stink at all. Um, but I love the smell. So there is one tray. And let me bring you back over to the dehydrator with me. And I will show there, you. There, that helps, huh? <laughs> okay, so there is my tray. And I'm just sticking it right in on the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the second tray. I got a couple of stragglers here. And uh, do the same thing. Come on over. And, and continue. All right, so when I get my um, dehydrator loaded, I will bring you guys back because I don't want to bore you with this. But um, honestly, this is the hardest part. <laughs> really easy. And you will love having your own green onions on your shelf to add to, especially during the winter. Um, this is my first winter 
with uh, dehydrated goodies. So I'm super excited about it. And, um, and I'm pretty stocked up, so. All right, so I'm gonna keep going here. And I will bring you guys back when I am all done. Okay guys, before I go ahead and put my dehydrator on, I just wanted to quickly show you the difference between fresh green onions and dehydrated and explain to you what I use these for and why I love them. You know, we can't can everything, unfortunately. I wish we could, but green onions is one of those things that I can't just can on their own. Um, so dehydrating has been a fantastic way for me to um, store foods that I use on a regular basis when I can buy them at a great price and I can preserve them in some way. So um, I really use these a lot in my homemade mashed potatoes. Um, I throw them in when, right before um, I start, you know, after I, um, after I, I strain my water and I go ahead and I start mashing my potatoes I throw them in so then when the milk gets added and the butter and the and the um, I add cream cheese to my potatoes and all of that they rehydrate and they're beautiful and I make a loaded mashed potato with them um, I also throw them in soups and stews and um, anything that I can throw some green onion in when I'm making even a boxed um, like say rice aroni for Spanish rice, I throw in some scallions. When I'm making gravy, I throw in some scallions. So I use them all the time. And uh, they rehydrate beautifully and they end up looking just like that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my last tray. And I'm just gonna turn on the dehydrator and show you how hard this is because when you see how hard this is, you're gonna laugh. And then you're gonna buy a dehydrator if you don't already own one. <laughs> So here's my dehydrator. I have all the trays loaded. I want to say um, I have about between eight and ten um, onions on each tray. And then I have one empty one, which I kind of like to try to leave the bottom empty if I can, because you'll notice on little things like this that can, once the air starts blowing and they get dehydrated, they can kind of blow around a little bit in there. Um, the bottom tray usually picks all that up for me. Um, also, underneath the bottom tray, which I don't have and I need to add, I like to put one of these nonstick pages on. So I put just a nonstick mat underneath there. That way it just makes cleanup of my dehydrator really easy. By the way, when I go to clean these, when I take all the green onions off, all I'm gonna do is take these mats out and take the trays out. I give them a, a wash in hot soapy water. I dry them off. I wipe down the whole inside while all the trays are out. The inside of my dehydrator um, with a hot soapy rag and dry it out. And then um, I just put the trays back in and it's ready to use again, so it's really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on. Hi guys! All right, and then up here, all I do is I turn it on and it'll tell you right up here um, what level to set it to. And we've got vegetables. So we're at 125. We are going to set this little baby at 125. And I'm just going to let that go, and it's going to dehydrate the rest of the day and overnight. And uh, it'll be ready in the morning. I'll shut it off early in the morning, and, um, and that'll be it. And it's that easy, you guys. And I tell you, <laughs> one of my favorite things on my shelf are these green onions. I kid you not, I use them all the time. But I'll show you quickly. That's my dehydrating pantry in there everything in there are dehydrated goodies there's my celery right here and um, I use it all parsley uh, cilantro um, mushrooms corn organic carrots um, lemons and limes uh, I use it all and I love it I love it I love it I love it it is part of my working pantry here at the needy homesteader or the house of Khan is what I like to call it. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, especially if you're new, like I said, comment down below and let me know if you dehydrate 
If you do, do you dehydrate green onions yourself? Do you use them a lot? And if you're on the fence, let me know down below too because um, if this is something that interests you, I can definitely do more videos on it. Uh, I know I was doing quite a few videos when I was uh, starting out, um, but I can definitely uh, film when I uh, put goodies in this thing. So <laughs> just let me know. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to let you go and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. All right, bye guys.